Breaking news. Tension in Kano. Emia's palace as guards beat house maid to death. Nigerian police called into the matter. Hello, my wonderful people. I can assure you nothing will come out of this matter. I feel very sorry for the maid that has been beaten to death. I don't know what her crime is, but the guards continue to beat a human being like an animal until the person finally died. And now, I mean, whoever has given the command that she should be beaten, we will get to know as the matter unfold. You know, some people take things into their hands. You can't just, I mean, how would you beat a full grown woman to the extent? I mean, what is, I mean, this is an abuse to start with. There are some things we do in Nigeria with confidence and it's wrong. Nobody's saying anything. Somebody has been beaten to death. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Tension in Kano Emia's palace as guards, not one person, beat housemaid to death. There is tension in Kano Emia palace over the torture and beating to death of a, of a housemaid accused of witchcraft on Sunday. What did she do? They say she's a witch. How did you know? Sources informed Saha reporters on Monday that the deceased was a housemaid with one of the wives of the late Emir, Halaji Adu Baro, married from Sokoto. One of the sources, the daughter of the wife of the late Emir from Sokoto, accused the late housemaid of witchcraft, which she denied, but she denied, but she denied did not make it convince the princess who directed that the maid be dealt with so that she can confess of being a witch. With the directive, the guards that the guards took to it and started beating the maid. The palace guard on they beat her so much for hours on Sunday until she died. When contacted, staff Chief of Staff to the Emir and District Head, Halaji Abdul Adu Baru, told her reporters that he was not aware of this situation, but promised to find out the true situation. However, Halaji Ahmed Daru later called a newspaper and said the divisional police officers in the palace, the one in the palace, has taken directives to investigate the matter and do not and and to do the needful and do not want to disseminate the information. When Sir reporters visited the palace on Monday evening, there was unusual quietness as many of the residents, especially women, were seen heard talking about the issue. This has sparked up a lot of tension in the palace as the princess has been accused of what was her proof of accusing the maid as a witch. So because she's not a king's daughter, she's not an Emir's daughter, she's a witch. Can you see what's going on? But if she's a she's if but if she's an Emir's daughter, she will not be a witch. Can you see Nigeria? Can you see the mindset? Can you see how because that person is not your child, you will beat that person to stupor because it's not your child. Do you see that we really we really need to understand what we are doing now on a more serious note? I mean, how can we really how can you take another person's child because I mean because they are they are less privileged to you and start beating the person, maltreating the human being as if it's not a person? How how do we conveniently do that? How do we conveniently do that? I mean, we do it without records. We do it without apology. We do it, you know. How do we do that? Have you thought about it, that that person is also a human being? That person also feels pain. That person is not a dummy, you know. That person is a human being with real feelings. So why are you treating the person as if he has no, I mean, he has no choice? Because the person is you know, seemingly tied to you at that point in time, then that person is, is, is bound by you and cannot speak. 
Have you tried to look after two children yourself? Do you know how hard it is? That person is looking after your children. You are beating that person. That is not to say anybody who does wrong should not be dealt with. Too. But if they, if they harm your child, do you think you have a right to speak? This is somebody who is looking after your family. Yet you treat the person with disdain. You treat the person as if he's not a human being. You maltreat the person. And you think it's all right? Princess or no princess, it is to be on record from henceforth that you led to the death of somebody because of your suspicion. Do you know what it has done to you? It has shown the kind of the true nature of the kind of person you are. Suspicious, vicious, you know, criticizing people, wants to make the other person feel pain. You are not a sincere human being. If you are, you will be empathetic, you'll be sympathetic. You will understand with people, you will make excuses for people, and you will overlook. It's not everything you talk about. It's not everything you must consign yourself about. What has this person done to you? Could it be an act of jealousy? Could there be something? What has she done? How did you prove that she's really a witch? How did you find that out? How did you resolve that? But let me tell you something that is sad. Do you know that she will not be involved in that matter? Yes. They will tell you she did not lay a hand on that person. But if it's an advanced country, she will be dealt with with the full route of the law. She instigated the situation that led to the death of that person. She gave a command that it should be beaten up. In fact, this is a warning to all the young men that want to go and marry princess and all that and all that. Look before you leap. Oh. Don't go and marry the wrong person. This kind of girls, you know, that are vicious, very, you know, ready to... I mean, I mean, I mean. That maid, now what would you go and tell the mother? You don't care, right? Yeah, you don't care because, I mean, you are the one who is in charge. So the mother can, she can cry all she wants. The girl disobeyed you. So you have to deal with her by killing her in the process. Because you did not know that your consequences, you know, will lead to an action. And so people can just, I mean, look at what is happening. This is not fair. Leave us a comment we'd like to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Don't forget you have a voice. Let it count. God bless you. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. From us, it's bye for now. Bye.